Hello and welcome to this tutorial on exporting ILD laser files from Blender. Now unfortunately at the time of recording there is no way to directly export ILD files from Blender so we're going to be doing this in a two-step process. The first step will be exporting our animation as an SVG image sequence and the second step will be converting the SVG image sequence into an ILD laser file using the Laser OS software. This technique is going to be using the built-in Blender Freestyle plugin. Freestyle allows us to get access to the edge and vertex information which we'll be using to create the laser path. So I'm currently using Blender 2.8 on a Mac OS, but this should work on Windows or any other major version of Blender. To begin, we will need to enable the Freestyle Export plugin. So we come up to Edit, Preferences, and under Add-ons, we search for SVG. Simply enable the SVG exporter. Then under our Render tab, we'll scroll down and enable the SVG export and leave this on frame. Although it seems it should be animation, we don't want an animated SVG, we want frame by frame image sequence. And then also enable the Freestyle plugin. So coming across to the Layer Properties tab, we should scroll down to find our SVG settings. Now, while I'm not going to go into detail of what each of these settings are, as they are very well documented in the Blender documentation, which I'll link below, the only one we need to take care of and enable will be culling. Scrolling further down, under our line settings, the visibility. By default, the visibility is going to be whatever is viewable by the camera, but that can be changed. Say you want to see through the cube or you wanted to export only these particular lines, the settings will be set here with the QI range or the edge marks. I'm not going to go into detail of it here, but if you're interested, let me know. I could make a follow-up tutorial. I'm going to leave everything here as default, as it's basically saying export everything as visible. Next, we need to go across to the output properties and we'd set up the resolution. Now while the resolution is not strictly important as we are exporting vector files, I would recommend a one-to-one -one ratio or whatever your laser may be. Uh, the frame rate can be set to whatever you want for your animation, but do keep in mind the higher the frame rate, the less detail your animation can include or the laser will not be able to keep up. Next, we want to set the output. I want to set it to the current directly and give it the prefix of sequence. Okay, so with all that set up, we're now ready to export our animation. For this demonstration, I have a simple animation that loops repeatedly of some cubes rotating in and out. When you're ready to export, simply go to Render, Render Animation. Blender will now go frame by frame through your animation, exporting not only the image, but also the SVG edge information. I'll speed this up, as even though it is a simple animation, it can take some time. Once Blender has completed rendering the animation, we can come across to our Export folder. And you'll now see we have the image sequence in PNG and SVG format. We're not interested in the PNG format, so we can delete all them. And now we're simply left with our SVG image sequence, which you can tab through, proving yes, the animation is actually working. Now to convert this SVG sequence into an ILD laser file, we're going to use LaserOS. Once you have the software open, come down to Import and then import a folder with SVG animation. Select the folder where we exported our animation to. Enter the file prefix. The frames per second will be 30, matching what we had in our Blender file. And BPM, I'm going to leave this as 120. LaserOS will then create the ILD laser file and show us a preview in the top left. Grab the ILD file itself, simply go back down to import and open import file location. And here it is, there is our ILD laser file created from Blender. So if you do have any questions or comments, please do let me know down below and I'll get back to you.